Lamborghini Revuelto. This car replaced the Aventador model, which was produced from 2011 to 2022 and sold 11,465 copies. And in the historical perspective, Revuelto continued the line of flagship mid-engine models Miura, Countach, Diablo, and Murcielago. Therefore, the new coupe retained the family guillotine doors that first appeared in the Countach coupe and subsequently were in all 12-cylinder Lamborghini supercars. The coupe has a new carbon fiber monocoque, for which the term monoframe was coined. The key difference from the Aventador is the composite front subframe it is made of short carbon fiber impregnated with resin, and turned out to be 20% lighter and twice as rigid as the previous aluminum structure. In general, the new body is 10% lighter than the Aventador, and the torsional stiffness has increased by 25%. The 6.5L V12 engine is preserved. This second-generation engine was developed for the Aventador, so it's too early to write it off, but a large-scale modernization has been carried out, resulting in a new L545 index. A new injection system has been installed, the compression ratio has been increased, the total weight of the unit has been reduced from 235 to 217 kilograms. Compared to the Aventador Ultimi engine, the maximum power increased from 780 horsepower to 825 horsepower, and the torque increased from 720 to 725 newtons. Engineers abandoned the traditional all-wheel drive transmission in favor of the E4WD system individual electric motors with axial magnetic flux and oil cooling are installed to drive the front wheels. Each engine produces 150 horsepower and 350 newtons. In the central tunnel, instead of the drive shaft, there is now a lithium-ion traction battery weighing 70 kilograms. The longitudinally mounted V12 engine is rotated 180 degrees, so that the gearbox is now located not in the cabin, but transversely on the rear axle. Along the way, the rejection of the distributor and the clutch made it possible to make the cockpit more spacious. The gearbox is new this is a two-shaft eight-speed robot with two wet clutches. It is lighter and runs faster than the seven-speed preselective gearbox of the Junior Huracan supercar. Finally, in the same case with the robot, Revuelto has another electric motor with a recoil of 150 horsepower and 150 newton meters. It can rotate the rear wheels, but a separate clutch allows it to disconnect from the gearbox and work exclusively in the starter generator mode to start the internal combustion engine or recharge the traction battery. The hybrid's peak power is 1015 horsepower. By the way, there is no reverse in the gearbox. The new Lamborghini supercar will be able to move in reverse only on electric traction. A full battery charge will only last for 10 kilometers of mileage in electric mode. With a fully charged battery, the Revuelto can accelerate to 100 kilometers per hour in 2.5 seconds. Acceleration to 200 kilometers per hour takes less than 7 seconds. In the cabin of the new coupe, there are no longer two, but three displays. The devices are displayed on a screen with a diagonal of 12.3 inches, an 8.4-inch vertical display is installed on the center console, and in addition, an auxiliary touchscreen with a diagonal of 9 inches appeared in front of the passenger. The Lamborghini Revuelto will be on sale in the second half of the year and will be more expensive than the Aventador SVJ model, at least 350,000 euros.